Hey guys. I'm Jerry. I'm Sierra. We're ladies. And we tangent. It's really good. I don't like coconut. Oh, what the fuck? What? <laughs> Are you mad at me because oh, I don't like it? <laughs> no, I was just, I'm still in beach mode, so I'm like coconut mm. for mm-hmm. life. I don't really like coconut taste, like um, food. Okay. Coconut drink. I will drink like coconut flavored things drink wise, not coconut flavored food or like the, the taste texture. of like coconut. Yeah, yeah. The texture of coconut. Texture. That's what I'm looking for. I keep saying taste when I mean texture. I don't. I was like, there is no difference between the taste <laughs> of coconut the, I meant like in texture. liquid form or <laughs> solid form. I feel like I like the flavor, but I don't like the, yeah, the, the texture of it. So you'll drink it. Yeah. Ew. Did you see what it did to me? It like made my whole body shiver. Yeah. What's, What's up, up everyone? everyone? Hello. <laughs> I feel like you can tell which one of us went on vacation and which one of us did not. <laughs> I feel like a new woman. You look like a new woman. Oh my god, I got so burnt. Look at this. Your forehead doesn't look as okay. Well, <laughs> it didn't look as bad as I thought it would. Because it peeled already. Okay. Because it saying. fully peeled. Um, so the first day I was so SPF is important. I was so obsessed with making sure my daughter didn't burn because Mm. she's got the fairest little baby skin in the land. And so I like lathered her up like literally me and Corey were like holding her and like (laughs) like she was so slippery. (laughs) And then I had a shirt on her and like I put a hat on her and I had so many things to make sure she didn't get burnt. And then I was like, here, Corey, hit me. And we did my legs because I always get burnt on the top of my thighs. And I got my shoulders really well. Well, then I was just like, cool, I'm good to go. And I forgot my chest and my face, yeah. which what? Why would I? Okay. So my chest and my face got so fried. Like my forehead, my forehead and my nose were the worst. And yeah, it, it peeled on like my fourth day there because I was in That sounds <laughs> it was delightful, not, honestly. I had to take I the love, third day and not be in the sun I love at all. peel. Yeah. Um, speaking of issues with your face okay. and nose, not your face, just yeah. oh, a face. A face an ambiguous you mine yeah, actually yeah so i because i put the scissors down for my hair i've been at it again with my nose oh, okay my now girl. <laughs> today i'm like why does my nose hurt like when i when i scrunch my nose or like when i touch it it's really really tender i bet if you like stared at it long enough you can definitely tell that it's swollen right here mm, i couldn't but yeah oh uh-huh yeah, yeah. okay so <laughs> the profile that side profile <laughs> i could not tell if it was because I had some kind of inflammation in there or like yeah. fluid buildup yeah, yeah. or if I accidentally like not broke, but like injured my own <gasps> nose Yeah. because yesterday I shot a wedding and congratulations, Brian, and, Bri and Josh. Oh my God, congrats. So I'm shooting the wedding and mm-hmm. when I do reception photos during like the party time, I do like a camera trick to drag the lights to make it look crazy. Okay. Yeah. So in order to do that, okay, you click the button and the flash is pointing at the people and you shake the camera. Seems counterintuitive. The lights move. The people People are still. (gasps) I don't know how it works. Honestly, it makes me question my very existence. Witchcraft. Truly. So normally when I'm doing this, I'm taking the photo on live mode. I feel like this is getting so technical and I hope I'm not losing people, but live (laughs) mode basically means I'm holding the camera in front of me and the screen on the back shows me what the lens sees. Sure. Okay. So I know what the photo looks like before I take it. And normally what I'll have to do is I'll be like, yep, I like that shot, shaker, and then boom, there's the picture. Uh Well, for whatever fucking reason, I didn't have it on live mode and I was looking through the viewfinder. So I had the camera up to my face <gasps> and I shook it and I just <laughs> beat myself in the face with the camera. Oh, no. And I was like, why? Why, why did I, I do that? <laughs> so um, this afternoon I did something to my nose that like I would not recommend anyone doing. Um, I I poked at it with a needle, like really just, I went hard. Why? Because I wanted to see if it like, it was just a lot of fluid. Don't do that. Turned out it's not. Turns out, I think I just broke my nose. (laughs) Oh my God. I know. When I broke my nose, both my eyes were black. So (gasps) I don't think it's broken. Okay. You just like stoved it. (laughs) Do Can you stove a nose? Who knows? The nose knows. (laughs) Speaking of the nose. Oh, tell me. We have a book called The Nose Book. Okay. And- it kind of reads like Dr. Susie, but it's not a Dr. Seuss book. And um, Ollie has memorized it. And so oh God, that used to be me. I know. I, I memorized books when I was like three. 
great. I'll just walk in on him <laughs> staring at himself in the mirror any day now. <laughs> so I was, uh, what I'll do is I'll like read part of it and then he'll finish the sentence or finish the <gasps> That's phrase. That's what I used to do. And it's the cutest fucking thing in the entire world. My mom said that she would read the cat in the hat to me and when she would like mess up on a word, I'd be like, actually it's this. He like does not that too. be reading the, I would not be looking at the book. And she's like, okay. <laughs> yep. That's Ollie. And if I skip Aww. a page, he's yep. like, um, you missed this Absolutely one. Absolutely not. I'm like, fucking A, I was trying to like do the short version <laughs> tonight. Get quicker. And he, to okay, bed. I've talked about the Mickey book before that we read. Uh that is supposed to be a five minute story but really it's like an epilogue Mm -hmm. it's just like so long it's the odyssey essentially sure so ollie always wants that book he always goes the mickey book and some other book Uh uh-huh so shane and i take turns hiding the mickey book (laughs) (laughs) because i can't find the fucking tired of reading this book and so tonight i was like bud i can't find the mickey book i have no idea where it is (laughs) Can we just read something else? And he's like, just find it. Just find it. And I'm like, I do not know where this book is. <laughs> and so Shane's like, do you want me to help look? And I go, did you fucking hide the Mickey book? And he's like, I did. I did hide the Mickey book. <laughs> and so he went in and pretended like he didn't know where it was either. <laughs> and then Ollie found it and he walks out and he's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> he found the Mickey book. <laughs> so anyway great well now i have to do that yeah i read donald in the in the talent show for the thousandth time <laughs> that's hilarious mm. i had a story but it's gone now so from vacation yeah probably did you write anything down um a couple things and then i my notes got messed up what and are you they, new i know but if you had an iphone wouldn't happen i know <laughs> i know but what i do know is that first of all thank you everybody who was cool with us taking a break yeah we really appreciate it because mama needed it i i, I still feel like you know how when you can feel your menti b is just like right there at the and it's got its grips on you yep so that's what it was like for me it felt like it was really trying to pull me under yep. and like but i'm just beating the fuck out of that bitch right now i am just like uh-uh absolutely not sit down yes and so like vacation really refreshes me it first of all it gets me on a better sleep schedule because i have to wake up with everybody yes. else at like 10 a.m so i go to bed early because i'm so tired and i don't get naps during the day yep. how rude <laughs> like <laughs> it's nice because my days are always filled with a task yeah i get to eat delicious food i was just telling yeah. jerry i'm a freaking foodie so like every time we go i'm like where are we going out to eat <laughs> um i'm here to try the cuisine <laughs> i'm the here cuisine for- of florida <laughs> the- i want seafood that's why i go to the beach yeah. i go for the seafood i freaking love seafood yeah um but i think they do have a lot of good cuban food in florida though really i'll mm-hmm. tell you what we went to a seafood boil and it was the best shit i've ever eaten like it was delicious the, I the like spices or whatever sauce they had it in i don't know i don't feel right about it why i don't know i think it's because i see snails in lakes and for some reason i just consider them a part of seafood even though they're not they're not <laughs> but like because their shells are the same okay. i'm like it's basically people eat escargot i have eaten escargot and i like it so i don't know what the <laughs> fuck my problem is very weird i well i like surprising? shellfish i'm a big shellfish fan <laughs> I'm i don't super know what, okay i don't know if anyone else does this <laughs> i just heard what you said <laughs> i don't know if anyone else does this but like no matter how often i've eaten shellfish uh-huh. every time i say that i feel like i'm saying it wrong i know <laughs> it's Feel very sean connery shellfish, shellfish. <laughs> okay i think that i'm gonna be allergic yes yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm always what like, if, what if this is the time? Yeah. Because you can develop allergies. Yeah. So I was letting Sawyer eat because in the seafood boil, it comes with like corn and potatoes. And yeah. I was just letting her try all the cuisines too. I was yeah. like, here you go, baby. Like yep. this is, you're my little mini food. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I was mashing it up or like yeah. just feeding or whatever, you know. You just chew it in your mouth first. And I give did it to <laughs> You didn't. I didn't. No. Well, what did the, you chew first? The potato because it the was the potato. Well, I'll tell you why. Because Wait, did you just say like two seconds ago that it was a mashed potato? No, no, no. I mashed the potato, but with my mouth. <laughs> no, no. Stop. I had to because it had like spicy sauce all over first it. First of all, you didn't have to do anything. I didn't. I was looking around Second like this all, is the most white people. <laughs> Second she was all. screaming at me that she wanted it. I only did it for two pieces, and then I got to the middle of the potato, which had no sauce on it. Oh my god! As if, as if cutlery doesn't exist. Well, no, I then I mashed it. Actually, that place only had plastic forks. 
And those don't mash. Well, not as well as my mouth. <laughs> God's forks in my mouth. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, yeah, so I was baby birdie my mic. <laughs> Anyways. And that's why we call her Robin. <laughs> But I just kept thinking, like, oh, my God, what if she's allergic to shellfish? Because this is all in mixed in with yeah. that. But she wasn't, apparently, because she didn't have any re- yeah. reactions to anything. Um, and I think you're supposed to, like, try them out on stuff pretty early. So I well, think it's I, better for them not to develop allergies if you try things I think early. there are certain things you're not supposed to give them until a year old. Yeah. But I, I think it's, like, peanut butter. I, peanut butter you can now. Or maybe you not. Can? Maybe it's... Peanuts, I think, maybe you could. No. Well, it's the same thing. Well, I think it's the texture because they can choke because it's like real thick. Nope. I think it's just for a peanut allergy. Are you for real? Because <laughs> everything <laughs> yeah. I was reading, I have like a baby led weaning app and it was yeah. like, try these early because but they're like know. more of a choking hazard, it said. I don't fucking know. Okay. Honestly, <laughs> I don't know. I could dick be wrong. Shit. I could be wrong too. Please don't fill the comments with things because oh the God, internet tells don't... us different things all the time. Yeah, and I, this is I just know us talking. I'm wrong. I'm sorry. We're doing our best. Mom. <laughs> Stop <laughs> yelling at me, no, internet. No babies were harmed in the making of this podcast. No, literally. And we, p- yeah. What is that? The hell? That's a ladybug. <laughs> There's a ladybug down here. Shane, <laughs> go get your ladybug. We were at my parents today. And I'm just like talking to my parents as I do. And then Shane is like off in the distance. And he goes, a ladybug? <laughs> I never, I haven't seen a ladybug in so long. And like. To himself. Oh, and then he walks over <laughs> with it on his arm. And he's like, I never held a bug before. I don't really like bugs. And he's like, but this ladybug, it's just on my arm and it won't get off my arm. I think they can bite you. No, those are a different. They're th- beetles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. But they look, they like disguise themselves. They're like orange? Yeah. Because I'll one's tell like you. like flapping its wings My right dad's now. old apartment used to be infested. Do you remember? Did we have? infestation of ladybugs at some point in time because i remember walking into my parents house and the whole ceiling was just ladybugs that's how my dad's apartment was it was so scary i was like ah and they would like bite you or attack you i really remember i was a child what the what the happened was what the happens (laughs) (laughs) anyways if i'm doing things to fuck up my kids so sorry please don't tell me about it it makes me feel better as a parent if i don't know (laughs) (laughs) yeah but but we're also not endorsing you to try things out on your children don't read about it do what you think is best for your your child when you think it's best for them 100% and don't don't <laughs> you're not serious it's a ladybug smacked me right there I don't know. It smacked the fuck out of me, though. <laughs> it smacked That's me. That's what you get for calling me a beetle. <laughs> oh, my God. It smacked my head so hard. I was like, ah. Uh, they don't bite, but they do do MMA. Do. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like, it, like I'm going to have a bruise. <laughs> it flew at me so hard. Oh, my God. I have trauma from living in that house where they were. Oh, oh God. <laughs> it's just a ladybug. I just wasn't. It's not that I'm afraid of it. I just wasn't expecting it. We gotta get this out. No, we, we can't do to. this. <laughs> well, 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 well. We called in reinforcements, and Shane was supposed to get the ladybug, which was actually a beetle. Yeah. And all he did was shove it into the ceiling. <laughs> By accident. Oh my god, you scared me. <laughs> I didn't know you were still here. Did you think it was a ladybug? <laughs> I did think it was the a ladybug. ladybug. Was like I'm still fucking here, <laughs> bitch. He can't get rid of me. Yeah, and by into the ceiling, I don't mean that he like smushed it on the ceiling. I mean that like the- we're in a basement. Oh my god, that's hair. We're in a basement, <laughs> so like the ceiling is those. What are the what are these called? Like little tiles. I guess they're like tiles that you can move up. Yeah, and he put it in there. So now the ladybug is potentially gonna come back or we'll not. See. We're not sure. We will see. I am terrified. Well, it's not a ladybug. No, it's a be- but- It was a beetle. It was not a ladybug. Yeah, but I don't know what they're called. So, beat a bug. Beat a bug. Okay, okay, okay. Back to it. I saw a mermaid. What? I saw a mermaid, and it swam very close to us. You're full of shit. It was a manatee. <laughs> you I swam with, with a manatee? manatee. <gasps> it was like five feet away from us. I got it on camera. Did and you I get a boner? You. 
Oh, yeah. Several. <laughs> Several. Wow. It was so hot. <laughs> I'm I'm almost getting a boner. Dude, it like put its little face up and it was like, Ooh. it's so, <gasps> they like swim back and forth. And so we were on the wow. Gulf part of Florida <clears throat> and the people that go there all the time are like, oh yeah, he just swims back and forth here. Like, it, it's like he likes people and was just like swimming in and out of people. Not getting too close, but like not very far. And it was that day that there were like no waves. Oh, it was incredible. I wait till I show you that in my I'm video, so you jealous. can only see the because I was on the shore at the time. I ran to grab my phone mm -hmm. and then you can just see his really dark spot moving along from the shore. It looks like a freaking wow. shark. But then he puts his little snout up and you're like, that's a freaking manatee. Oh, that's a mermaid. Yeah. Yeah. It was beautiful. Wow. That's so cool. I did have that in my notes. I knew that. But oh. I was like, I can't, I can't forget that. I kept wanting to tell you. I was like, I saw a freaking manatee. That's so it was cool. so close to me. Yeah. It was amazing. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I didn't. I did get a deep tissue massage. <gasps> How was it? So good. Yeah. Shane booked um a, a spa day for me and Sierra. <laughs> he he <laughs> said when I was on vacation. He asked you. I know. He's, I was like, yeah, it's totally fine. That's a perfect day. Uh -huh. And then I was like, hey, I will be gone. That week. Yep. And Shane's like, well, I guess you and I are going. Yep. And so we went, and I asked my masseuse. Mm hmm. My massage therapist, I said, so on a scale of one to 10, how bad are my shoulders? Yeah. And she said, um, well, everyone holds different levels of tension in their body, uh -huh. but it is a good thing that you came in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, so 10. Yeah. Then. That's how yeah. my shoulders are. Well, I have scoliosis, oh, so, so they just like keep getting, yep. every time I get them loosened, they're like, Murp. nope, yeah. right back to. That's why I have to go get massages like yeah. monthly. That was the one thing I was like, if I'm spending money on myself, it, and I've been doing it since before 2020. That to me is a form of self-care. And it I is, never yeah. put it in that category before. Yeah. I needed, I that one time, remember right before 2020 happened, I was serving and uh, there was like- You ate ass? I ate ass so hard. <laughs> no, there was like a three week period where my like neck went out like three mm. different times. It just kept like going out and then yeah. I couldn't, turn my head excuse me i'm burping <laughs> i was not used to being um on audio oh yeah fair <laughs> for a very long time but anyways i so it kept happening and i was like i should go to a chiropractor and the chiropractor was like you also need to get a massage like yeah. very badly and i'm like really he's like if you Doctor's don't orders <laughs> if, like, he was like if you don't your muscles are mm -hmm. going to they're so tense that they're just gonna knock what i just did right right back yeah. so yeah, it is something that I think if everybody has the extra funds, um, mm. it's not even like an extra. Like you said, it, to me, I felt you like can find a way to allocate it. I, I This has to be something that I make the funds for mm -hmm. because my body deserves it. My back needs it. And, and so. I, well, I was talking about how bad my migraines have been. I mm -hmm. was getting them daily. And me since too. I got yeah. my yeah. massage, it's been now I've I've still had one, but like. Not as bad. It, not as frequent yeah. and not as long lasting. I not remember, as intense. I told her that like one of the first times I went and she's like, okay. And she like did this thing where she like pressed a certain yeah. way and it was like instant relief. I was like, yeah. oh my God. The, I don't yes. know where I was holding that pressure, but it was just like, whew. well, I was talking to my dad today about how therapy to me is like medicinal yeah. in a way, because if you go to, this is also why, um, I I don't think I've told Barbara and I don't know that I will tell Barbara but um I stopped going to therapy. Oh, okay. I'm going to find another therapist. Not right. because not because Barbara did anything wrong. No, ghost her. Um ghost that bitch. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just it's, kidding. I, I was watching my nephew and I said that I would watch him and didn't realize that I had therapy and so I canceled uh, my session yeah, yeah, yeah. but I don't have another one backed up. Yeah. And so, so I was like, like maybe this will just be it. Yeah. I do feel like I want to tell her because I don't want to just like ghost her and never yeah. go back because she did help me for a really long time. Yeah. Like over a year. F well, I feel like with therapists, it's like seasons of the things yes. that you're going through that yes. you can find different ones. Right. And I think they should be understanding of that as well. Oh, and I think that she will be. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but one of the things that I, I knew wasn't working for me anymore was she is a faith based yep. therapist. Yep. And so a lot of um, the tools and advice she would give me 
would be solid, but then there would be the added element of uh-huh. like faith to it and yep. like a, a a reminder of like, okay, keep God at the center. And I I would always be like, mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Knowing that like I was just gonna toss that bit. Yep. Um, but when I was talking about therapy, I would say like I if I injured my leg yep. and I went to get physical therapy and my physical therapist was like, okay, I need you to do these stretches. I need you to do icing for this long. I need you to do heat for this long. And then I need you to do three Hail Marys. I'd <laughs> right. be like, for, <laughs> right. for why? <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Um, and if that, if, if that works for you, I have awesome. Perfect. Great. I hope you feel amazing. Um, doesn't work for me. Yeah. And I don't think that mentally it works for me anymore. Yeah. And so anyway, what I mean to say about all of this in a really long and unnecessary way is that going to therapy, getting massages yes. to me is just like going to the to doctor, physical therapy, going yes. to the doctor, because it is just a way of taking care of your body. And it's, yeah. it's frustrating that massage. Yes is looked at as like a because people would be like oh lucky you sierra gets her massages and uh i wanted to be like if i didn't i literally wouldn't be able to get out of bed some days that's how bad my back would hurt like it was a problem Mm -hmm. when i said i was going to the chiropractor people didn't do that right but when i say massages they just assume that it's like a spa day for me yes i'm like also if you've ever gotten a deep tissue massage it's not enjoyable (laughs) you're not relaxing okay i will say mine was well it does feel good yes but like I'm not relaxing during it yeah. because there are parts where it's like it's she tense. is yep. digging in there and I'm yeah. like, ah, ah. and a lot of times like I talk to my masseuse, mm-hmm. I have like a relationship with her because yeah. I've been getting them for so long. Yep. So like it's not just like quiet, calm. Now it does like make me feel good because like she's got a very nice setup. It's a very yeah. like relaxing setup. Yeah. And like the bed is nice. Yeah. <laughs> but like. But that's a During part of it, it. it. It feels like physical therapy. I've yeah. gone to physical therapy because of my scoliosis and yeah. it's affected my hips and things like that. So like physical therapy was more expensive. Yeah. So why wouldn't I just get massages? Yeah. When you can. Yeah. And so uh, anyway, this is a PSA. This <clears throat> this episode sponsored by your masseuse. masseuse. <laughs> your local masseuse. Go see your local masseuse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shop small. Yeah. For your back. Yeah. Um. Speaking of the time off that we took did you listen to last week's episode Mm -mm. okay it's one of our old exclusives that's why i didn't want to because i was like i don't know what i said i'm nervous you are very pregnant someone was like whoa sierra's having another baby (laughs) (laughs) really quickly this is in the past um (laughs) what i found so insane about that episode it was a mental health check-in from like mm-hmm. September mm-hmm. and so much oh, so of I it, was real pregnant. Yeah. yeah. So much of it applied to what we were going through now. Really? And there was a question that someone asked us that said, when was the last time you were truly happy? <gasps> and I started talking about going on my vacation oh, to yeah. Michigan and how it was like the first time I could see my kids playing. And it was the first time as a family we were like traveling together That's and your tampy thing happened yes that is that was before we knew about the tampon being stuck in me while i was there um no so but that I... does change it a little bit but while we were recording that before yeah. i knew um and but i still was very stinky on the couch with you um, i couldn't smell it <laughs> that's amazing i love that for me um i was crying because it was such a beautiful moment and yeah. i was really happy and i said that i couldn't wait and you were like i look forward to being able to do that with Corey <gasps> and my daughter and that's where you were that's really cute like, i gotta I- listen to that you do i do because i'll tell you that was like when i say that was the like refresh i needed i really tried not to be on my phone like mm-hmm. i even normally on vacations i'll call my mom like every night i talked to her like twice mm-hmm. during the i was trying so hard besides the camera on my phone yeah. because i wanted to document as much as i could because like I want her to have those memories because I know she won't yeah. actually remember them. And I'm like, well, and it is so fun to like look back at old photos. Yeah. Like when we were kids, like going, whenever grandma passed and we got to go through all the old yeah. shoe boxes and stuff, it was so fun. Especially since she went with her cousins. So like it yeah. was really cute that she had like matching. I thought you were talking about grandma still. And I was like, I don't remember <laughs> that photo. <laughs> oh, no, no. Sawyer got to go with her cousins. Yeah. So like it'll be cute when they're older to be like, look at their Sawyer yeah. and your what, But Yeah, it was really, really nice to, like, have all of us. I wish Noah could have been there, but 
Noah was with his dad and he got to go to freaking Disneyland. And like, yeah. I can't say no. I can't be like, we had the conversation because I was like, can he come with me? And they're like, that's the exact week we have booked already for Disney. And I'm like, no, because we had already booked yeah, you're like, it. I can't take Disney away from my kid. Oh, no, I can't. Yeah. So we were both in Florida at the same time, literally like an hour and a half away from each <laughs> yeah. other. But um, we will have more memories of that. And yeah. I think that this one was kind of a nice thing. Because not that I don't want Noah there, but it was very like I think we needed that as a new new yes. family unit. Um, yeah, because I feel like, you know, it's Corey's always been amazing at welcoming Noah into his yeah. like, but this is his first time being a dad. So right. like it was nice to be like, you know. Yeah. I don't know how to explain that. Well, I don't that, want that to sound like I didn't want to. I wanted Noah there more than anything. He no. even cried one day. But <laughs> like, it was just kind of a nice little yeah. like. Well, here's the thing. Whether, no matter what, it was what it was. Yeah. You, Noah wasn't going to be there. Right. So I finding, had to make the best of it. Yeah. Finding <laughs> the highlights. I feel like it was absolutely terrible yeah, the whole time because my of, son was missing. Yep. Trying yeah. to find like the silver lining in that situation. You're yeah. you're not toxic positivity. Teeing right, <laughs> yourself right. in that situation. Exactly. You are just saying, like, this is my reality mm -hmm. and I'm going to enjoy being here despite yeah. the fact that it, I would also enjoy it if it looked differently. Right. So, no, I don't think you need to explain yourself to don't come for her. Please, God, I am really trying. <laughs> no one's coming for I us. Know. <laughs> but it is different having a, it's anybody who has two children with like two different people and yeah. then so has to like, that is difficult, but then it's also difficult with the age gap they're at because yeah. I know that I would have had to choose. Yeah. Because Noah is at the age where he, he wants go me mm -hmm. to go play with him in the ocean. And I saw her a lot of times I was sitting with her in, on the beach mm -hmm. and things like that, you know. So it was like I would have felt like torn between the two. Yes. Whereas in a year or so, we can all be out and together yeah. or we can all be on the sand together and or things like that. you've had those moments with Noah. I've had so many. Yeah. We've had so many vacations together. Yeah, you've just had your time, him Noah. and I. Okay. Yeah. Get Go out. Disney. <laughs> <laughs> Go enjoy your time at Universal Studios. I'm so freaking jealous. Yeah. His stepmom keeps like sending me pictures and oh. I'm like, ah, such as. So cool. Sears so yeah. never been. No, I've never been. That's another thing that I'm excited because we'll all get to do like together. Yeah. But now. You know, they ripped that away from me. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm so happy that he got to go at the age yeah. that he got to go at because yep. I want him to still have that like magical yeah. kid feeling. And I didn't want to potentially take that away from him if we go in two or three years and then he's a preteen or a yeah. teenager and he's, he's like, like, fuck you, Mickey Mouse. Yeah, I don't <laughs> give a fuck about Joy. Like he got to meet Joy. He was having everyone sign his book Aww. and everything. And he was so, so excited to tell me about it. He was like, Joy from um, Inside Out signed Aww. my book and he got Mickey to sign it. I was like, I can't wait to see it. On their flight, did you hear about this? No. So they were nervous, the boys, him and his brother. Okay. And uh, so they let him announce at the airport, the <gasps> flight people, he got to say, hello, Cleveland. And then they got to go and meet the pilot and the co-pilot and sit in the cockpit. They did? Isn't that incredible? Wow. I know. They like sent me pictures and I was like, what? That's n they've never let me do that. That's what everybody has said when I've told them. They're all like, what the heck? They kicked me off the plane when I tried to do that. <laughs> yeah, I want to go in there. I'm going to be like, I'm having a, I'm scared too. <laughs> like, will you let me yeah. on? Yeah. I don't know. It was just those people were really cool to them. That is cool. Yeah. Well, that makes so, me happy. I was happy for him. When he called me, so we've had like two FaceTimes and he was like, it was the most excited I've ever heard, mm. heard him sound. So he was very I'm happy for him. <laughs> sure, no, I am very, us. very happy yeah. for him. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, are we done catching up? Yeah, we let's get into this yeah. shit. I'm done. I'm done with you. I'm so over <laughs> it. <laughs> there no. will be moments throughout this where I'm sure we'll get into more yeah. because that's just we, what we Sierra do. and I haven't like really spoken in a week again. When I like, tell you I didn't have my phone on me, I mean legitimately I wasn't even talking to Jerry. Like I did not have my phone yeah. on me. I wasn't talking to anybody. So I called her one time and she's like, <laughs> Everyone thinks that I'm missing you because I keep dreaming about you. Oh my god, I dreamt about you so many times. Mm. So many times. I'm a very dreamable person. I know. And then I would tell people about it over the breakfast table and they were all like does anyone just care her. about dreams? Well, they all tell me they're like, don't talk about. I guess Corey's mom told me because I was telling her she's like, it's bad. It's not bad luck, but it's like um, a thing that if you speak, her mom used to tell her if you talk about your dreams over the dinner or the breakfast table, then they'll come true. Oh, and I was like, ah, because the one I told her was scary, but the other one was good. So I think they cancel each other out. 
I don't think that's how that works. It but okay. is for sure. <laughs> oh, well, you, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. Never mind. Anyway, scandals. <laughs> Who wants a scandal episode? Here we go, baby. Uh, we know you want it. And so we're going to give it to you. Daddy made you some content. <laughs> Open wide. <laughs> have you seen Inside Out? Dude? I haven't. Come on. I know. I was waiting for Shane and we just have not had time. What the fuck? I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm just kidding. If you would not get your massages, <laughs> you bougie bitch. Fair. Okay. Here we go. Starting off, this scandal involves a couple trying to get freaky in a public pool and a police chase with a Vespa. What? <laughs> Hi, ladies. My name is Izzy. She, her. I work at a local pool in my small town, and this story is the reason why we have a bunch of signs saying you can't have drugs or sex in and around the pool. <laughs> a There's public a sign pool. that says it? Yes. It's amazing. Do they have Vespas in Canada? I, I don't know to. why in my head they're only in Italy. No, I guess they must be in Canada. <laughs> Um, the summer before I started working there as a lifeguard, the most dramatic incident in the history of the town pool occurred. A couple was causing trouble in the public pool, which mainly involves toddlers and parents with their newborns. Oh, no. The man apparently was swearing and talking to himself in the kiddie pool, and the woman was trying to get frisky and flirt with the male lifeguards, who were all minors at the time. E at one point, they tried getting it on in each pool until they were told to stop or leave. To put into perspective, the community center has a kiddie pool, a large hot tub, and a big lane pool. I don't know what it is with people and trying to get freaky deaky in pools and hot tubs. So if you know the logic behind it, please explain. I don't because that doesn't work. Well. Well. Yeah. <laughs> because it's like sticky. <laughs> well, water doesn't make good lube. No, it's, so it it's like anti-lube. <laughs> it is. <laughs> so like... It just everything hurts, and there's a lot of friction. <laughs> I do feel weird about public hot tubs. No, definitely not. That's a lot of why hot tubs over <laughs> pools. Pools are more hygienic. I don't know. I think it's just because little kids shit in pools. <laughs> yeah, but we like peed a thousand times in the hot tub together. I peed a thousand times in pools. <laughs> Same. It is a smaller area that we were we were being so much and <laughs> we were live. <laughs> Join our Patreon to watch us pee in pools live. <laughs> you can't see the pee. No. But just know but that it's it is happening. there. <laughs> also. Well, yeah, we got to do a live, right? Is that what oh, you're yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll no, do that, that wasn't Patreons. what I was going to say. We'll, we'll, we'll get you up, guys. Don't worry. We'll be there <laughs> uh, at some point. We'll talk to you. Uh, what I was going to say is... Um, Someone, do you know how to do a poll on YouTube or just, hey, if you'd make this poll on Instagram, in on Facebook, wherever, um, tag us in it. Do you pee in pools? Yes or no? Oh, great question. Great question. I want to come hit. I want to come smash the yes button. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Everybody's going to be mad. I'm sorry. I know that's disgusting. <laughs> Whatever. No, I bet there's so many people in their cars being like, mm -hmm. I'm going to hit that yes. Up until I was about 26. I believed that if you peed in a pool that it would turn a certain color. When and someone I was told me like, that, I tested it immediately. <laughs> and I was like, you're a liar. And just for that, I will pee everywhere. everywhere. I'm going to pee in your fucking bed. <laughs> I don't care. Watch it turn blue. Listen, the internet told me that urine is so sterile that we should put it on our faces. So I'm like, sorry that I'm trying to help you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> okay. Get some fucking manners. <laughs> Anyways, they were told to leave many times, and at this point, they were trespassing on the property. The supervisor supervisor on the shift decided to call the police and have them assist with the situation. The couple must have seen the supervisor on the phone through the office window, and they both ran out of the pool into the change rooms to try to escape. Some lifeguards who were off who were off, tried to go and find them as the police were going to be there any minute. They then saw them running out of the building towards the front door. So the supervisor and all of the other lifeguards ran out of the office after them only to see that they had disappeared. <gasps> Just as the police pulled into the parking lot, a Vespa with the couple on it sped past the lifeguards, past the police and out of the parking lot. Everyone immediately started pointing and screaming at the police to turn around and chase the Vespa, which they did. According to what I've heard, they chased them almost three towns over until the Vespa stalled and they were <laughs> arrested with possession of many illegal drugs, which they allegedly were mm -hmm. taking mm -hmm. in the change rooms and that they were under the influence of when they were causing trouble, public indecency, trespassing, harassment, and avoiding the police. That makes sense. 
To this day, when the new hires ask if summer is as crazy as everyone says it is, I tell them this story and then wish them good luck. <laughs> I love you ladies so much and I wish you both the absolute best. Cheers from Canada. Oh, thanks, Izzy. <laughs> Thank you, Izzy. Holy shit. I know. Wow. Okay, the entire time I was trying to picture that, I was picturing like Ron Swanson <laughs> and <laughs> Tammy. <laughs> That's exactly right when I took a drink. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tammy too is a- yeah. <laughs> like his wife in real life. Yes. Yeah. Dude, because every scene that they have together is so <laughs> so fucking chaotic. Like a hundred percent. I feel like Tammy too would give him a bunch of drugs and then be like and then try and fornicate with him in the public pool and then they'd escape on a Vespa. <laughs> Oh, that is his mustache blowing in the wind. (laughs) That is really amazing. Mm. By the way, I did this on like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of my vacation was going through these stories. Mm -hmm. So like, obviously, it's Sunday now. I've completely forgotten most of them. (laughs) So this is like brand new for me. (laughs) How fun. I I love that I have like short term memory loss like that. (laughs) It's a little alarming sometimes. But I was Mm. like, this is a fun story as I was reading it. Like didn't remember how it ended. Okay. Again. Silver lining. I'm trying. (laughs) Making the best out of it. I really am. So this one starts. This isn't exactly a hometown scandal, although for the time this took place, it was the talk of the town. My great grandma, who was a bad bitch, even at the age of 87, her favorite jacket is a is a bedazzled jean jacket that has 069 on the back with the name Bingo Bitch. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god, that's my idol. Hell yeah. So she had a wild childhood. When she was only 10, her father left her mom and their three kids for her sister. For her sister. Not only did he leave one sister for another, but then he had four children with her. So now her father is her uncle, her aunt is her stepmother, and her cousins are her half siblings. What? Family reunions are always an adventure. But well, in small, our it sounds like. <laughs> yeah. But in ours specifically, it's a trip to figure out how we're all related. <laughs> Originally, the sisters didn't talk for several years. Shocking, I know. But they were able to reconcile and became close again. So at least I had a good ending and my family gets to laugh at how our family tree works. I don't know. I don't know how you reconcile that. I don't know either. You're just because like, like every barbecue and every family. You have to see that holiday, person. You're like, hey, ex husband, brother in law. Unless the the husband left that woman too. Did he? Maybe I don't know. I'm I'm making and- my own story, and then the sisters are like, "Fuck that guy!" Yeah, coming on the phone and someone on the kitchen. <laughs> Dolly Parton's nine to five playing in the background. Oh, I was going the chicks. Um, oh, goodbye, Earl. Goodbye, Earl. That's better. Yeah, that's better. That's what happened. Goodbye. Oh, it doesn't say his name. It just says Bingo Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna pretend it's Bingo this. Bitch. Did take oh, care. Oh, sixty nine. That is fucking wow. hilarious. Oh, wow. Um, that just reminds me of um. Okay, I told you about the Our Father. Uh, documentary. Yeah. Have you watched it yet? No. Okay. Great. I was on vacation. I couldn't do. Shit. Part of me wants you not to watch it. I'll rewatch it. Which yeah. Yeah. I'll do some notes and then <sighs> I'll tell you about it. Okay. I like since that. I've already watched it. Tight. But I don't know if my if this is a thing that's out and new or if Netflix is just like so you like weird shit. Here's Here another go. one. Mm-hmm. And then my algorithm's fucky. Yeah. So there's this. I think it's a docu series, maybe, um, called "Keep Sweet and Pray Often" or something mm, like that. Okay. <laughs> and basically, there was um, someone. I apologize. I'm saying this because I know I'm not the only person who does this. And whoever told me this in a DM, if you could remind me in the comments, and then other people can learn about it, please do that. Um. They told me not to call religious groups cults because they are something else. They like phrased it differently. Oh, okay. But it was still like not good. Right, right, but right. But it right. wasn't called a cult. I, I so don't what remember. what is a cult then? Like the Jim Jones thing would be like a cult? I don't know the difference. Okay, okay That's okay. why we need to do a cult episode. Got it. But like I said, I know that I'm not saying that correctly, but I cannot remember what the person told me Sect to say. or something? No, I don't remember what it is. Or maybe it was, no, religious sect. I don't know. Anyway, um, 
but basically they were saying that like obviously the people who were in this were victims of it and so uh-huh. like calling it a cult sure yeah, is, yeah yeah so like i'm not sure again i'm fucking this up so help although i kind of feel like a lot of people in cults are victims yeah because like everyone in the jim jones thing i i mean i feel like they're, that's a very much they were like all all of them were yeah, victims but except I think for maybe, the people making them do I the don't horrible know, are, things are cults like religious based sort of i think they can be i think See, like with i think the... that's what whatever this person was telling me like helps separate that okay. like if okay. it falls anyway like i said help me um but <laughs> this this cult essentially this religious group like in order to get the into the highest point of heaven you had to like at least have three wives <gasps> it was like an extremist version i think if it, i think it was called like fld or fd whatever um it was like a, an extremist version of like Mormonism. Okay. And people were like marrying off their daughters to like 87 year old <gasps> men. Like the prophet who was, uh, I guess, like could predict the future had 20 some wives and oh. all of them had to line up and kiss him goodnight. He was like 80 some years old. Uh. And then he would choose one. Oh, to no. be like we're doing love making. No. I know it. I know it. It's oh. so foul. He had so many children. Mm. And then when he died, one of his children became like in charge mm. and he so started fucked. marrying his mothers because <gasps> he had 20 some and not all of them were his birth mom, obviously. Oh, my fucking God. I know. I know. It's I could I had to stop watching it because I was so disturbed by it. Oh, so apologies uh, to anyone that I also disturbed by that information. <laughs> Heads up, don't fucking watch that show. It's just like, it makes me physically ill. Mm. Anyway. So this will be fun. <laughs> okay. Getting into away from that. This Let's go far, <laughs> far away. Anywhere else. Well, this honestly. is. Uh, hey, ladies. My name is Amanda. She, her, and I have a very embarrassing poop story for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, good. Um, also, at this point, when we say scandal, we mean just a good story. We're looking for just yep. a good story. If you yeah. think, hey, this one time this thing happened and it was a good story to tell, yep. that's what we're looking for. Yeah. You ever poop in a closet? Tell us. Fucking let us know. Um, And then I'll be the judge. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> it's about seven. Eight, literally this time around, I was looking more at the end because I, I have so many to go through. So I was just yes. like, I'm just going to go backwards. Yep. And like so many in a row were fucking bangers. bangers. Oh, my God. Hell it yeah. was amazing. I was like, wow, you guys understand the assignment okay um it's about 7 a.m in the morning my husband gets up to do his usual morning routine which includes an hour-long shit followed by an hour-long shower oh my god that's self-care if i've ever heard it i was gonna say shane used to do that not like an hour-long shit but he would just like poop for a long time and then he would like lay in the shower that's what fucking Corey does after his workout he'll just like take a hard shit after working out and then shower and like he locks the bathroom and i'm like what are you doing in there but i think think it's because the pooping that he locks anyways maybe but it's always like locked for like 45 minutes and i'm like get out of there yeah okay keep in mind we only have one bathroom and the night before we decided it would be a great idea to order like 50 wings from Wingstop and just go to town me, being a sensitive stomach bitch, was not feeling very well the following morning and knew I probably had to poop, but my husband was already taking a shit, so I thought I could hold it. Spoiler alert, I could not. All of a sudden, alarm bells went off in my head and my butt was screaming, evacuate now. So I strip off my pajamas and scream, get out of the bathroom, <laughs> to my very startled and confused husband. To be fair, he doesn't need an hour to shit. He should have gotten that out yeah, like yeah, pretty yeah. quickly. Honestly, that's how you get hemorrhoids. Honestly, <laughs> Yeah. Get stand up. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I did not make it all the way, and the little turd fell out as I was mm-hmm. running to the toilet. Mm-hmm. I was horrified because my husband was like, "Did you just poop on the floor?" <laughs> <laughs> yes, babe. Yes, I did. God bless this man because not only did he make sure I was okay, he brought my me water, told me over and over it was not a big deal, and even picked up my turd and cleaned Aww. up after me. I swear if we hadn't known each other for over ten years, I think I would have that would have been the end I would think that would have been the end of our relationship. Moral of the story, have two bathrooms and don't think you can hold it. Love you ladies so much. Your podcast is the only one that can hold my ADHD brain's attention. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank I love the story. 
I just pooped myself the other day. Yeah, and Corey almost did in Marshalls. <laughs> oh yeah. He's been having a lot of stomach issues and I'm like, is it rubbing is it me? Am I yeah. rubbing off on you? What's happening? Are you rubbing him off? I've been rubbing him <laughs> off everywhere. <laughs> in the pools. <laughs> oh no. No. Truly, I I don't think I told this on the podcast because I think No, it happened like a week ago. Yeah, we didn't record it. We didn't. So so Jess, I believe, sent us boards. Yeah, yeah. They say it's been blank days since Jerry last shit herself. And Sierra. Yes, Sierra got one as well. Yep. Um, And it's been down here because I haven't needed it. And I've been so proud of that. And then I put Forrest down for a nap and I walked out of the bathroom. Or not out of the bathroom. He doesn't sleep in the bathroom. He sleeps, <laughs> <laughs> he sleeps in a bed. So- like, Good night. He's in the bathroom. <laughs> he actually sleeps in the sink. <laughs> like a big boy. <laughs> yeah. Um. Where you put your baby? <laughs> anyway, in the so toilet. I put, the toilet. I put him to bed. I walk out of his room, and all of a sudden, I'm like, "Is that poop in my pants?" <laughs> like nothing even happened. There was no gurgling. There was like no need to clench. Like I had no fucking clue. All of a sudden, it just felt like I had wet pants, and I was like, w-, "But I knew it didn't come from my front. It mm. definitely came from my ass." It's like a butt sneeze. Yes, it was definitely a butt sneeze, but uh-huh. it, but it didn't sneeze. It just like fell, like my butthole <laughs> opened up or something, <laughs> just like let a little out. And so that it's almost like you know when you go to put a straw in something that's too full and like a little bit comes out the top. That's what it must have been like. And so well, I what were you put in <laughs> nothing. I just walked out of the room, and so I'm standing there, and I was like, "Is that what I thought it was?" And so I pushed again. Why? Because I'm a gambler, and. I wanted to see if that's what it was. And if I did shit myself, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I shit myself. <laughs> so if I'm, what, I'm going to shit myself more? Okay, I have to change anyway. <laughs> so I push, and sure enough, I shit more. <laughs> and then I was like, how? How is this fucking possible? And so I was certain that I pooped myself. I, there was no question at that point. I go directly to the bathroom. I close the door and lock it. I strip off. I try and poop more because i at that point i'm like is there more in there what's happening you guys we're not communicating well (laughs) and um i I clean myself up put underwear on shane goes are you okay and i'm like yeah i'm fine i come down here rinse my underwear immediately throw it in the wash and i grab the whiteboard and i walk upstairs and he comes up behind me and i just write zero (laughs) and he looks at me and i'm like "Mm mm-hmm Mm-hmm. And he just cracked up laughing. Oh my god! It has a three on it now, but I haven't updated it. It's but been it has been. Days. Yeah, it has been longer days. Like a week. <laughs> What's happening? Drake? It's almost been two. I think two longer no. days. No, I don't know. I don't know how long it's been. It happened it's been on a, week. a Tuesday. Yeah, for sure. It'll be a week on Tuesday. Two no, weeks. two weeks on Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. It'll be a week. <laughs> As you hold up two fingers, it'll be one week. It's been one, one week, week since I shit, shit on myself. It's the two shit on me. Oh my god! <laughs> Fucking music. <laughs> shit on you. What the hell? Sorry, everybody. Our outro music's playing. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. We're this is going to be a long one, and I, I think you'll be okay with it. I don't think it'll be that long. I want to give them some stories. Well, we only had 14 minutes on the first one because of that fucking ladybug. That's so true. Okay, okay. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. (laughs) Anyway. Here we go. Okay. I'm sorry. That's not what it says. It says, hey, ladies, not okay. Uh, Hey. Forrest has been saying that. He keeps going, okay, okay. okay." (laughs) Freaking love it. Okay. Hey, ladies. Okay, so again, just good stories I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. So this says, okay, this absolutely is not a scandal. It almost belongs in a spooky category. But I have to submit it somewhere for you guys to see at some point. This happened to me today. I live in a well-lived area, meaning it's normal... Sorry. I was going to say, what does well lived mean? It's normally pretty busy. (laughs) Okay, okay. (laughs) I love that. Normally pretty busy. It's well lived. Um, And I've been house sitting for two houses for about four days now and have a week to go. I was driving from one of my jobs to the other just now and I saw a red semi truck with no trailer followed by a line of cars. They were all driving past me. I thought nothing of it and kept going. 
A few seconds later, I see the same truck, same license plate, same sticker on the front, same everything. Still no trailer coming down the lane it just passed me with, followed by the same line of cars in exactly the same order. I should clarify that this particular part of the road thinned into only two lanes, one going west and one east, or forward and backward, as I like to call it, because I'm directionally <laughs> declined. <laughs> I looked same. <laughs> same. I looked in my rearview mirror with confusion and found that the road behind me was entirely empty. No one, no cars at all. Just a moment ago, there was a white SUV right behind me riding my bumper. I tried to shake it off, but as the truck passed me yet again in the opposite lane with the following cars, I watched in the rearview mirror and once again they were gone. No cars, no truck, no trace of anything. Creeped out by the fact that I was alone on a normally busy road in the middle of the day, I kind of start speeding. And another truck starts coming up the lane the previous two trucks passed me in. Once again, identical, followed by an identical line of cars for the third time. What? My AC turned off and my music got louder and then I passed under the highway bridge and everything went back to normal. The SUV was still behind me. What? A little farther back now, and my music went back to normal along with my AC. By the, but the trucks and the cars were missing. I don't know what happened or why, but I nearly pooped my pants. And it says, I'm just a little baby. <laughs> In a scared child's voice, a la both of you. Oh, my God. I know. <gasps> That's so scary and so, so weird. Scary. Especially because like that was a... Like, this just happened. Yeah. Three times in a row, I'd be like, what the fuck? Well, like, like, twice. that did happen to you. I did happen. And I was almost in tears. I think yes. I was in tears when it happened because I was like, the second time, it's like, I okay. I think we're starting to break. I think we're starting to break the simulation. I know. That's freaking me the fuck out. Me too. Shane and I watched this video. I'll have to show it to you. <laughs> um, Where it this guy basically talks about how reality isn't real. Like, mm -hmm. there's no such thing as reality. Mm -hmm. That everything is just squiggles. Yep. And the way that he talks about this, honestly, he the way that he speaks is so brilliant. And I consider I needed to talk to you about this. I considered buying his entire works for us to listen to to oh, potentially shit. like do an episode on. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. it's like it's fucking mind blowing. OK, OK. This, I feel like I'm not giving any details. No, but you're not. Just but trust <laughs> me. The way that I'm talking me. is just intense and you will join my group. <laughs> Of reality's just squiggles. Oh my god, that's so crazy. I didn't come up with that. I don't even know if he came up with that. Anyway, we'll watch it on YouTube. Oh, sweet, I love it. Okay, here we go. They, she, pronouns. Okay. So my family thought my granddad was batshit crazy until a year ago. My granddad was old as shit and used to tell everyone about someone who lived in our attic and that he could always hear them and that they would come downstairs at night to eat or take food up to the attic. Stop. Is someone fucking frogging in their house? Hang on. <gasps> of course, we checked the attic out, and there was nothing there. Literally nothing. No food wrappers. It was just full of boxes, full of books. He was persistent, so eventually we just thought he was seeing or hearing things or just making it up. Five years later... We were moving and found in one of the boxes a bunch of books glued together to make a false top and in it the dead body of my granddad's ex-girlfriend along with a lot of food rubbish and water bottles, etc. Apparently my granddad had been telling the truth and this 70-year-old woman had been living in our attic and my dad had been occasionally fucking her on the DL. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What? The dad is fucking the the grandpa's ex-girlfriend who is living in the grandpa's house up but in his dead. attic. dead. Well, she died up there. Yes. And no one knew? Well, he wasn't fucking her when she di was dead. She well, was let's, 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 so, let's fucking hope not. <laughs> like, okay? Nobody knew. She had a heart attack a year ago and hadn't been found because nobody except my, except my dad knew that she was up there. He didn't know she was living in our attic and just thought she was sneaking in from somewhere because they never really spoke. I should add, my dad was 45 and sleeping with a 70-year-old. Oh, no, dad. Oh, no, God, no, dad. Oh, my fuck. parents are now divorced and I don't speak to my dad, but what the fuck? <laughs> and that's how it ends. Was there no investigation? Like, I that's have what so I many be fucking like, questions. Can you send me some links, please? How do you find it? There's got to be a, a, a news story on this somewhere. It has to be. How big is that box? How, how big is the box? How big is the box? 
Hey, Dad, how big is that box? <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. no. Well, because... <laughs> was she living there because she was crazy and like stalking the grandpa? They lifted the false top off? Yes. Okay, so what? She put she the was, top like, on? living in there. Yeah. And then she had a heart attack in the in the box. She, do you really think she put the top on? <gasps> You're accusing this woman's father of murder? I'm not accusing I'm sorry, anyone. This I'm person. asking questions. Um... If this person Did your dad murder someone? If this person <laughs> let us feels know. that they're being accused, maybe they have something to admit. That's, That's so all I'm true. saying. I'm not accusing anyone. This is all alleged. I just have questions. I need to know how big that box is. What position was the body in? What, what who glued those books together? <laughs> what kind of glue was it? Great questions. She had a heart attack? I guess. That's what it says. She's There's got to be a news report. She's fucking nourished yeah. because she's no, she had water off... bottles and food in there. <laughs> yeah, but she's living off of granola bars. I think maybe, she, did she come and go? That's an assumption. No, she must I don't have been for sure. living there. I guess. It's I don't fucked. know. No one talked to her. She's just the attic fucker. I don't know. <laughs> dad fucker in the attic. <laughs> yeah. I'm writing a book. It's called Dad Fucker in the Attic. <laughs> oh. Don't. <gasps> fucked in the that. daddic. <laughs> Dad dick in the attic. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Hey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. So I saved this story for last because it's so fucking good. Okay. Well, which is wild because you've told some really good ones. Yeah. I told you banger after banger. Like mm-hmm. it was hard to narrow it down yeah. this time around because I was like, Granddad um, and Dad. These are so banger good. Banger and banger. <laughs> Old banger and banger incorporated. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's. The way this one is told is chef's kiss. Ugh. Sorry. That, have you ever take a drink and it's more than you think it's going to be? Yep. But you're like, no, I could finish this right now. And then you're like, wish I wouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> wish I didn't. <laughs> yeah, that was me just now. Uh-huh. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. I was in my junior year of high school and I was in a deep depression and struggling with agoraphobia. This is hilarious, isn't it? I'm just kidding. (laughs) And struggling with agoraphobia while still obviously being legally required to attend school in person. I took it upon myself to supplement my psychiatric meds with a bit of laughing grass. I started smoking earlier than then, so I blame my lost brain cells on what I'm about to tell you. Okay. For at least two months, almost daily, I would smoke a whole bowl of spicy lettuce on the toilet of an all-gender bathroom in school. This bathroom was in a hall, a bit out of the way, but had no door to the hall, just stalls. So I would do this every day. <laughs> I'm going to warn you, be careful drinking during this, this story. Anyways. So this bathroom was in a hall a bit out of the way, but it had no door to the hall, just stalls. So I would do this every day and not only my high school, but my trade school where I was taking cosmetology classes. Graduated, but screw a board exam. <laughs> I feel that. One day, this stank ass pickle of a girl decided. <laughs> I told you to hold on. <laughs> this stank ass pickle of a girl decided to let a hall monitor know about the delicious smell in the bathroom. <gasps> A hall monitor came to ask what I was doing, so I told her I was putting in a tampon. (laughs) She did, in fact, not buy it for a minute. I packed up my shit and walked out just to stand in the doorway of the bathroom with the hall monitor and an administrator while an entire parade marched by the door of this smoking bathroom. I think I cried. I had an incredibly embarrassing mental breakdown because my administration needed to call my parents and I was 99% sure a 16-year-old me would be physically beaten in the middle of my school. To make the story shorter, my parents stole my bedroom door and I was suspended from my school for four months. <gasps> Three months and two weeks longer than the white guy who was selling acid oh. and pills on school property. But thank God they banished the agoraphobic Latina puffing a little bit of schmied until a week before COVID hit. Yeah, I went back for a week and then COVID hit. Anyways, I'm so not bitter, so not bitter about <laughs> anyone involved in this story. Definitely not towards that pickle bitch who just <laughs> so happens to post happy 420 every year <gasps> since. Mind your own damn business, pickle. That's why you smell like bong water. 
<laughs> Sorry, thank you for being so lovely and for taking the time to read this fun party story. Still can't believe it. P.S. I never got caught at my trade school and the people on my academic team fought for me to be able to go back, Aww. so I only missed a week. I did it a few more times, to be honest. <laughs> if I wasn't, if it wasn't for that girl, I'm not sure if I would have been caught. Say what you want, but I live happily in my delusional world. Feel free to cut out whatever you please. <laughs> you two ladies are incredible. Thank you for putting so much work in every day to give us sunshine Aww. nugget content thank you yeah. <laughs> that's so funny okay i was laughing out loud when i read that i'm so not bitter so not bitter <laughs> i love that like i know that we are not people who want to perpetuate like negativity and like calling people names or like but like that's just fucking funny <laughs> that pickle bitch <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah stank ass pickle is the best insult i've ever heard of being used for somebody yeah. yeah it wasn't like you were insulting like something about her yeah like appearance yeah it's just more it's that just she you're exists. a pickle <laughs> you pickle bitch it was just because she narked you out yep. and you're like mad about it i appreciate like, that fair. i appreciate a good vent sesh here's the thing mm, if you got mm -hmm. a vent i think that's a healthy way to like get your frustrations out yeah We've done it. We have. Mm -hmm. I've said worse than Bickle Bitch. <laughs> That's for sure. True that. Haven't written it to someone to read aloud on the internet, though. But... Not yet. <laughs> no, not yet. Uh, well, if you want more scandals, yeah. we are going to be posting uh, an exclusive on our Patreon. Mm -hmm. Patreon.com slash Ladies and Tangents coming out on Friday. Yeah. Um, if I get it done in time, here's, here's a preview of what's happening over on Patreon. Story number two. Mm -hmm. I work in a museum in a state park in a small town that is definitely not in Tennessee. <laughs> I clocked in. <laughs> I clocked in early one Sunday morning, and my coworker, we'll call her Sarah, was already at the museum. I was about to leave when one of the girls in the office told me that Sarah just called her and said that she overheard something about a body and a suspected murderer on the loose in the park. <gasps> It's dad dick it's addict It's dad dick guy. in the attic. <laughs> <laughs> no. When I got to the museum, Sarah quickly let me in and locked the door behind me. None of the rangers told anyone anyone that anything was going on. The only way we knew what was going on was because Sarah heard it on our radio that <gasps> is connected to the rangers radio. And of course, that's connected to dispatch. We sat in the dark museum and listened for anything to come over the radio. And then it happened. Radio silence. But this time we knew it had to be something bad. And then it hit me. A prisoner had escaped the week before during transport. The media ruled it as a self-inflicted mishap if you catch my drift. So I'm assuming maybe they were uh, some kind of self-inflicted injury. And then as they were going, maybe they got out. I don't know. Yeah. I don't catch your drift. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Tourist not caught. <laughs> sorry. That drift is drifting away. <laughs> Fast forward a few days and I asked my then boyfriend who worked for dispatch if I needed to bring something more than pepper spray to pr protect myself ah. at work. He told me not to believe anything I read or heard online about the situation and that the threat was no longer in the state. <gasps> it's him. It's Oh my God, it's a boyfriend. He told me he couldn't tell me more because it could cost him his job and not to tell everyone. Well, I'm telling everyone now because he quit his job as a dispatcher and then he gave me chlamydia. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's why I added the story. <laughs> so long story short. That pickle bitch. <laughs> so long story short, someone was murdered where I work. The media is a liar, liar, pants on fire. And nice boys that you shouldn't trust because he cheated on you the last time you dated him. <laughs> yeah, I know. Red flag. You should know better. We'll give you chlamydia and then flirt with your friends the day after you guys break up. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Did I do it? Did I get it done in time? Did you like that preview? Are you going to ask us, whoa, this feels like deja vu. Haven't <laughs> I heard this before? <laughs> yes, it's because that was probably a preview. <laughs> yeah. Although what? they wouldn't hear it before if it's a preview from Friday. No, they say it again when with the Patreon oh, comes out. They're Friday. like, whoa, that's so weird. I swear I've heard this yeah. before. <laughs> yeah, you heard it here first. Yep. And then you'll hear it again on Friday probably. Um, unless I didn't get it done in time, in which case... Get off my back. I'm so freaking tired. I have so many <laughs> weddings to edit. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. It's wedding season, everybody. It is wedding season. I've done four weddings so far, I think. Sheesh. Yeah. It's four more than I have. I know it. 
I know it. I have this weekend off because it is my anniversary and my <gasps> birthday. Oh, oh my fuck! I it's know your birthday this weekend. Yeah, Saturday is my what birthday. The fuck, my birthday's in two weeks. <laughs> I love that. I love that my birthday now just became like a marker for how long it is until your birthday. No, I'm sorry. Happy birthday! But Thanks. like, I, I can't mean, it's believe not my birthday yet. That it's that. I feel like it was just May, and now I'm like, what well, was? And now time continues time is passing <laughs> us by yeah the yeah. wild how that anyway, happens i'll be 31 <gasps> we're gonna be 31 that I hits know. harder than 30 like for it. some reason yeah it makes me feel hot 31 is hot yeah 31 i'm like the older lady like 30 you're like pretending and yeah then 31 you're like i've been doing this 30s shit for a <laughs> fucking year yeah and i'm killing it i love it sometimes i forget that i'm 30 and not me like too 14 yeah i definitely still think i'm in my mid-20s and i'm yeah. like i'm 30 yeah <laughs> who's where's the adults it's me oh my yeah. god well anyway yeah um that's that on some of your scandals and catching up with us. Yeah. Uh, we love you so much. We do. We will see you next week. Mm-hmm. All right. We're out. <laughs> hold, on, hold on. Let me try that again. I got okay. confused. You just went, mm-hmm. <laughs> we love yes. you so much. We will see you next week. All right. We're out. Goodbye. <laughs> there it is. <laughs>